giving birth through cesarean section is quite different from the vaginal birth. And uh, I was quite lucky one day as I was scrolling through my Facebook newsfeed, I stumbled across a post by one of my friends. It was about um, cesarean section birth and she said that she has actually gone through it twice. So going through the comments on that post was quite something else. People were just um, expressing their fears. Some were actually surprised. So I had to approach her for an interview and luckily she granted the interview. So today I'll be talking to her about the challenges of giving birth via CS. And uh, one fact about this is that it was elective. The two times she gave birth via CS, both birth were elective CS. And what that means is that she and her husband opted to give birth via CS. I know, quite surprising, right? So there have been so many misconceptions about giving birth via CS, but today we're going to hear straight from the mouth of someone who has gone through the process, not just once, but twice. Believe me, she's quite strong. All right, so make sure you watch the video till the end so you get to learn as much as you can. If you have further questions which I haven't addressed in the video, you can post them in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I am Yaki Adam Sufodiyama. If this is your first time here, please subscribe so you can stay updated with future episodes. So now let's get down to the main gist for today. So who is my guest on the show today? Introduce yourself. Tell us something you would like us to know about you. Maybe apart from what we see on social media. Okay. My name is Itobong Morin. I'm 26 years old. A mother of two. Oh, what would I want people to know about me? Okay. A lot of people on social media assume that I'm a very loud person. But I'm actually very introverted. Like very quiet. I'm more of a speak less, think and observe more kind of person. And, okay, I'm very passionate about books. I read a lot and I read wide. Yeah. Okay, good to have you on the show. So let's get straight to the topic of the day. What led to the circumstances of you having to give birth through CS twice? Well, it happened that I was five days past my due date and as first-time parents, we were really anxious and impressioned, and I just couldn't wait any longer. Our doctor had advised that we should come for inducement by the by 41 weeks, but I was really scared of being induced because of how women who have undergone inducement have described the pain to be very intense. And I also learned that there's a 50-50 chance of being induced and still undergoing a CS. So to spare ourselves all that trouble, we just decided to opt for a cesarean birth. I can understand the tension and anxiety. So um, did you take some time to like browse, read through online about the whole CS? Um, did you have time to look up other women's experiences giving birth through cs or was it just you got to the hospital maybe due to anxiety just told the doctor please i'm ready i'm ready right now what exactly gave you the courage to be able to march on to do the procedure yes i have always been open to different birthing options and yeah i googled a lot about it I personally know women who have had one or two CS, so I was prepared for any option. My husband and I even had a discussion about the possibility of having one. So it wasn't something that was like new to me. I had always known, I had always read about it, and I was very open-minded to it. Before the cesarean birth, had you ever heard about any misconception about giving birth through CS or some myth? You know, people these days, they just write a lot of things online or even say a lot of things without being able to certify to be sure of what they say. So have you ever heard about any misconception about CS 
what people say that after the whole birth experience, you now realize that, wow, this didn't go this way for me, whether it had gone that way for the other person or not. But at least from your own experience, you can now say that this is not true for all women who give birth through CS. Yeah, yeah. A lot of women hold this misconception that women who give birth through CS can never have a flat tummy. And you know that this is an issue with most women who have had babies. So, but this was different in my case. Because by the time my baby was like six months, at least, I had attained almost my pre-baby size. And and this shows that basically it's, it's not the surgery itself, but the person and also, there are women who believe that you cannot resume intimacy with your spouse until six months, which is actually untrue. Because medically, it's six weeks for both cesarean and vaginal birth. After giving birth, what sort of supports did you receive from friends, family members, and even the healthcare team? How were you able to just, you know, move on? go back to your normal life what were the lifestyle changes that occurred as a result of the um, cesarean session birth yeah the doctors and nurses were very helpful at the hospital and i had the support of my family members my mom my mother-in-law my sisters-in-law and my husband and they were around to help to support to do things around the house because as a CS mom, you're advised not to carry anything weightier than your baby in the first six weeks. So I had people in the house running errands. And yeah, it's true that you cannot use a guido or press hot water, but you can use um, a belly wrap, which helps to hold your organs in place and makes you more comfortable. As you know that CS is a major surgery. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, my belly flattened within six months. It was a gradual and natural process. But for now, I still have a small belly pouch. <laughs> you know, my baby is just seven weeks old. But I think I'm actually healing better than the first time. Um, I don't know if you've heard this before, but um, please do not take any offense, okay? There is this sort of um, talk about uh, people who give birth through CS. You know, sometimes people look down on them like the woman wasn't able to push, she wasn't able to do this and that. I mean, they just talk. Have you ever been stigmatized or looked down upon because of the cesarean birth? Yes, a lot of women have been stigmatized because they had a CS birth. Well, personally, I have not experienced it, but I have observed it a lot in our society. Um, I think it is born out of ignorance, a lack of exposure or education on the part of people who ridicule CS moms. Um, there are there are some who make it sound like all CS moms were faced with a life and death situation and had to settle. Like I've heard somebody boldly say that no woman would ever want to have a CS bed. But the truth is that CS is an acceptable betting choice and there are lots of women who have opted for it electively like no pressure they just they just decided to have a cs there's no special award for pushing out a baby other than the fact that no matter the method of delivery we all go home with a healthy baby so people saying that cs is an easy way out i doubt they actually know how painful the recovery um, is the recovery period is or the fact that it is a major surgery and there is nothing easy about it. I, I believe that CS moms should not be looked down on, neither should they be treated with pity. Okay, let's talk about breastfeeding. With the CS, do you breastfeed? Are you able to breastfeed? Some people say that when the baby tries to suckle, that you feel pain on the wound or something like that so how does it work for you yes i breastfed my babies from the first day and i exclusively breastfed my daughter i don't think um breastfeeding has any 
real connection with CS incision. Uh, it's natural for a uterus to contract during breastfeeding. So maybe that's the pain they are talking about. Um, for the first weeks of the incision, I used a pillow to place on my laps, which helps me to feel more comfortable. So the baby's body does not rub against the incision. Um, the incision itself is expected to heal well by six weeks. But, you know, this could be different for every woman. Um, I really don't think it could interfere with breastfeeding. What is your number one support or encouragement statement for a new C-section mom or people who have been told by the doctors that it's going to be CS and they are just waiting for the D-Day? Um, first, I would like to say congratulations to every one of them. And with regards to um, the stigmatization that is very rampant in the society, I would like to tell CS moms or those who will undergo the um, procedure, there is really nothing scary, nothing inferior or nothing shameful about having your baby through CS. No matter um, what led to your choice, you are a mom. You have or you will have um, a little bundle of joy in your hands and that is all that matters. You do not need to feel like you are in a competition with other mothers, other women who have had um, a different delivery option. And you, you need to arm yourself with enough information to educate anyone who is ignorant enough to belittle your choice. Refuse to be intimidated or insulted whether it is by your family members, which, because this happens a lot in um, many cases, or even strangers. Um, about the surgery, the procedure is done within an hour or so. You hardly feel a thing because of the anesthesia you will receive. But once it begins to wear off, you will feel very sore. And this may last um, about a week or two but the earlier you get up and walk around the better you will heal also you need to keep a healthy diet you need to rest a lot and most importantly you need to surround yourself with positive people people who exude um positive energy because you really need this it's the support that they'll give you is very important to the healing process. So that is just what you need to know and what you need to do. Okay, so this is where we wrap it up. Thank you so much for your time and talking to us today. It's been so great having you on the show. Thank you also for being so open. I really hope that a lot of women listen and learn a lot from all you've had to say.